We follow children from grades 3 to 12, which corresponds to about age 9 to 18. The trajectories you see here, each individual line, is a child's rating on social aggression by their teacher from grade 3 to grade 12, a different teacher every year. And I think what you can see first is that there's just a tremendous amount of variability. It was possible to determine that you could group these 200 plus individual trajectories into three groups, a low group, a medium group, and a high group. Note, however, that all three of these groups are decreasing in social aggression across developmental time. I think this is wonderful news. Note also, though, that this is not what is depicted for us in the popular media. Most of us would assume that these behaviors peak in junior high school, or if you watch the Mean Girls movie in high school. But that is simply not the case. So what predicts following a high social aggression trajectory? If you look at what significantly predicted membership in the medium social aggression group, it was being female and having parents who were not married. So what contributed to being in the high social aggression group? Interestingly, not gender. Having parents who were not married, again predicted being in the high social aggressive group. And having a mother who was high on permissive parenting was a consistent predictor of being on the high social aggression trajectory. So children with permissive parents may not receive much guidance or correction when they engage in socially aggressive behavior. And this early lack of intervention might predict following a higher developmental trajectory for aggression through the end of high school.